Hi dear students, I hope all of you are going well. Now in the last class we have discussed about the first chapter in English textbook, The Three L's of Empowerment by Christine Lagarde. We already discussed who is Christine Lagarde and she is a very well known politician, law is the head of international monetary firm and she is being uh, working as a president of European Central Bank. So we have discussed about what are the challenges faced by women today and what are the roles of women in the home and outside. I thought you have all of you uh, studied well and I have told you to study well and make a note of your own. Now let's move on to the speech by Christian Lagarde to the content of the textbook. She begins the speech with a salutation. We have already uh, in the first year told about how to start a speech uh, and uh, how to conclude a speech and all those things. I thought you know well. So here also Christine Lagarde begins like that and told about the 21st century, the conditions of 21st century and we have give more importance to the economic role of a woman. 21st century poses many ways of challenges, but we have to give more importance to the economic role of a woman today. Because women can't able to contribute their true potential. In our days, women can't able to contribute true potential, abilities and talents. Because they remain blocked from the opportunity. Our Serangalin, our Tadasa Pedutuno, Tadasam needed to go to Rikuno. In another way, 21st century, we have to give more importance to the economic role of a woman in the rapidly changing world. We know that uh, the world is changing day by day. We have to give more importance to the economic role of a woman that is. Uh, Christine Lagarde said and in some countries Lagarde said in some countries per capita income lack very significantly especially women later to men comparing the woman with the man woman's per capita income is very low what is the reason the reason is also their lack opportunity they have barriers different kinds of barriers we already discussed they have cultural barriers social barriers different kinds of norms are there for especially women so we have to change that that is why christian lagarde said like this and in the world woman represents half of the world population but their economic contribution is for less than 50 percent what is this? What is the reason behind that? Their economic contribution is less than 50 percentage. So, Christian Lagarde said, we have to change this picture. And we have to change this circumstance. In order to change these circumstances, we have to follow the three L's of empowerment. Christian Lagarde said, in order to change this picture, we have to follow three L's of empowerment. I repeat, Krishnigarh has said in her speech, what are the three L's of empowerment? The three L's of empowerment will make them empower and they will become emancipated. And now check what are the three L's of empowerment. Here the three L's of empowerment in the Noka. You have a letter to the Pradhan in the three days, three and there are uh, three factors for empowerment as Christian Sagan, as Christian Legard has said. Now listen, the first factor is learning. Learning is the first factor. And second is level. Labor is the second person. Fact. 
and third one is leadership so these three factors are three elements of empowerment the first l is learning and second l is labor and third l is leadership now we move on to the first point learning what is learning can you say learning means education learning in the way vidyabhyasam what is learning learning means education we know that education is the most powerful weapon to change the world it is a powerful tool it creates imagination sense of thinking creativity so learning is a foundation in order to get empowerment women should have learning so the first point is learning learning means education so education is the foundation of change maatathinte adithrayana education endu parayunnathu so first this is b Education is the foundation of change. Education. If there is some matter in there, a different. What do you want to know? Education helps women to break the shackles of exclusion. We know that the women are. Uh, nowadays usually always excluded from the uh, public space so we have to break the shackles of exclusion in order to break the shackles of exclusion we should have education we should have learning so learning helps women to break the shackles of exclusion so second point is learning helps woman to break the shackles shackles of exclusion so the last third point is it is essential in the developing world it is essential in the developing world we know that education is the inseparable part of life we can't avoid that so it is essential in this developing world now listen first point is education is the foundation of change learning helps women to break the shackles of exclusion and third one is it is essential in the developing world it is essential in the developing world there is an african adage for african culture that goes like this if you educate a boy you train a man and if you educate a girl you train a village ningal oru kuttiye aanu oru aan kuttiye aanu padipikkunnadengil ningal oru paurane oru vyaktiye aanu vaarthedukkunnathu pakshe ningal oru pen kuttiye aanu padipikkunnadengil ningal oru gramathe aanu vaarthedukkunnathu if you educate a boy you train a man and if you educate a girl you train a village the difference is that we know that when we uh, when when a woman educated it's help to her children it to help to her family and it help to her society and it help to the world that is why the uh, adage means parachule adondana ingane povunnathu okay so there are three elements of empowerment that is first one is learning second one is labor and third one is leadership and first point is learn learning has three points learning means education and education is the foundation of change and second point learning helps women to break the shackles of exclusion and third point is it is essential in the developing world vigasichu kondirikkunna ee logathu valare athyavashyamaya essential athyavashyamaya oru ghadagamaanu learning ennu parayunnathu 
So, in more the point, you can see these points in the textbook. You can see these, these points uh, describing very well. I give you it as a one by one points because it is very easy to study. That is why I give you like this. It is very easy to study. You have to note down these points and to write the, these points in the exam. When you write these points in the exam, you have to write it as a paragraph. Don't forget, write it as a paragraph. Okay? So, uh, first one, learning, and second one is labor, and third one is leadership. Learning means education. Learning means education. First one, education is the foundation of change, and second, learning helps women to break the shackles of exclusion. And third one is it is essential in the developing world. And the next two factors is which are the which are the two factors? Next, next two factors are labor and leadership. We can discuss in the next class. That is uh, that is good, I think. So you have to note of this point and then study well. Thank you.